Hey guys, today we'll be going to Sequoia National Park. We'll be hiking to Big Baldy, which is another one of Sequoia Park's giant granite domes located near Stony Creek Village. You can access the trailhead right off the General's Highway, so let's get going. We've been on many trails. We hiked them, we raked them, and then we shared them. Hopefully, we find the right one for you. So grab some snacks, put on your hiking boots. These are Hiking Chronicles. All right, so we're on the General's Highway. This is the main highway in Sequoia Park, and we are on our way to Big Baldy. So I just spotted a coyote on the side of the road. Let's get out and see if we could find him. Look at it. There it is, guys. How cool is that? Looks like a healthy adult, maybe 40, 45 pounds. Not, not sure how big these guys get. How big do coyotes get? A coyote typically weighs between 15 pounds, six ounces and 46 pounds, five ounces when fully grown. Okay, yeah, so that's what this guy looks like. He looks like around 45, 50 pounds. Okay, we gotta keep him away from you yeah, for sure. All right, that was pretty cool. So just make sure you're paying attention to the map because the trailhead is right off the road. Alright, you guys ready? This is a big baldy trail. Let's see where are we? So we are here. Let's go down. down here and then we're gonna get some nice views of the mountain how many miles is this I don't think, it says. Uh, I don't think it says how many miles oh look here so 2.2 miles one way so about four and a half miles It is, let's say 10. So like the sign says, this is gonna be a four and a half mile round trip hike. The first 20 minutes or so, I would say that the trail is a lot like this. Narrow, you're walking under a lot of trees, there's gonna be plenty of shade. Um, so enjoy that part. How many dogs connected? My backpack. After that, you'll get into more steeper inclines. There'll be less trees around. You'll have more of the sun on your back, so that it gets a little more difficult. So we also did this trail in the snow. That way we can get some good footage of uh, Big Baldy snowed in. It's a little hard, I didn't take snowshoes, I should have. Um, if you don't have any, you could always rent them out at uh, Grand Grove Village, They're only about 20 bucks for the for the day. So highly recommend you doing that because if not, you're gonna be slipping, you're gonna be falling, and it's not gonna be fun. Let's you guys go. Let's go listen to me. Slippery. <laughs> Emmy. 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 Going the right way. The slipped. Uh. 
Okay. It's gonna be harder than I thought. <sighs> ground is hard and slippery. Oh, I think it's this one. Oh. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Wait. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh, dude. Huh. I think I might need both hands. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. slippery not cool okay so this is a little bit too hard let's go back to summer I right, see you much better now right, so obviously it's a lot easier when it's not snowed in um, man I kept falling I was scared that I might ruin my gimbal on my phone so I just stopped recording for a while um, during the snow part of this trail and um, why is my echo glowing yellow? What the hell's up with that? Am I being spied on? Alexa, are you spying on me? No, I'm not spying on you. I value your privacy. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. But then, why are you going yellow? The yellow light means you have a new message or notification. Oh. To check, you can say, play my messages. Yeah, that or, makes sense. I... What are my notifications? Okay, that's good to know. Well, I'll ask her later. What the hell is it? So that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, I saw that. And you saw that. See, this is where I'm not going to let you guys go. So this is what the last third of the trail is going to start to look like. Um, a little steeper, uh, more of a rockier terrain. Uh, less trees, more sun, so a little more difficult. I was a chipmunk fighting with the bird. It's fighting. I want to take a picture of you. Let me add a rock. Let me add a rock. Let's see. Let's add this one. Let's see. That'll mess this up. Let's see. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> you guys see me. Mia, who cut your hair, man? I'm going to sue them. Look at this. That is not cool. It's hard to walk on. Oh, 
spaghetti. Oh, there's our spaghetti, man. I thought it was in shape. Hey guys, so we finally made it to the top. It took us roughly about an hour to get here. It took us two hours in the snow. And that's of course because I kept falling and slipping. Um, I was actually ready to quit halfway through uh, when I was uh, hiking in the snow because I thought, I was, you know, I might get hurt, twist an ankle or might break my gimbal or my phone, one of the falls. But we kept going. I mean, we were already halfway through, might as well. And I'm glad we did, because the views up here are amazing. Oh, something attacked me, you motherfucker. So I just realized I have to draw a damn coyote. Technically, we didn't see him on the trail, but we did see him on this episode, so... Damn it. Alright, I gotta draw it. Alright, let's get my Michael Jackson glove. Let's go drawing glove. Alright, so let's see. Yep. Gotta draw him. Where's my pen? Alright, so where am I gonna damn there's no space All right? Where am I gonna draw you? Alright, so we're gonna draw him Damn I guess right here. Right by me. Yeah, so I'll draw him right over here. Alright guys, so as I um draw my coyote. Hope you guys enjoy some of the highlights of the trail.
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed Big Baldy as much as we did. It was definitely a great workout, and once you reach the very top, you have amazing views of the park. And if we look towards the northeast, you can actually spot uh, Buck Rock, which is uh, a fire lookout that's been around for over 100 years. Uh, man, look how cool that looks. Look at the mountains in the background. Man, that looks amazing. You can actually, people can, can actually go here. They can climb up the steps and go into the, the lookout, which they've kind of made into a um, lookout slash shop. You could buy little souvenirs. So that's really cool. Um, so we'll definitely be going there as well. But it was a really cool view all the way from Big Baldy. Um, man, really cool. So as far as difficulty goes, I'm going to give Big Baldy a moderate. At four and a half miles round trip, you're going to have some steep inclines and you're going to have for about half the trail, the sun bearing down your back. Traffic wise, this is going to be a lightly trafficked trail. I mean, it's not, it's not next to a campground. It's not next to um, um, anything really. I mean, it's off the side of the road. So don't expect there to be a lot of people on this trail. And as far as animals you're going to expect to see on the trail, you're going to see birds, ravens, you're going to see lizards, you're going to see chipmunks, you'll see squirrels. Once you get closer to the rocky terrain, you're going to see a lot of marmots, you know, those little guys are going to be around. And technically we didn't see this on the trail, but we did see a coyote on our way to Big Baldy, and that was really cool. So with all that said, I'm going to give Big Baldy a 4.5 out of 5. Thanks again for watching guys, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.